to the first spot that we're gonna try and as I was unloading and getting water and everything, Chester went on point 400 feet that way and I did see birds come up and go this way. They look like chucker, but they're a ways away. They just as easily could have been huns. So that's too bad they didn't hold them for us, but it's a reassuring start. So let's see what we can do here. Dixie Wolf. Ah, that was Dixie's fault there. All in all, that wasn't bad. Is that thing running? Must be. Hey, no, come on. Right here. Right here. Hold it. Good dog. Hold it. Good puppy. Hey, right. Hold it. Hold it. Drop him. You know, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. He did pretty dang good there. Dixie. Or gotta work on her some more. But you know, that wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Well, Chester put in some pretty reasonable effort there. I gotta commend that whenever he decides to come back. And Dixie, you need some work. I know I changed the game on you, but you need a little bit more work. Trying to shoot birds while managing two dogs that, that break and we're actually working on some training stuff is tough. Pair that with the fact that I went and sold my CZ and my Browning Maxis, so I'm borrowing my wife's gun until my new one comes in. I'm, I'm impressed that we got anything out of that. So, that's a win. Let's see what we... See what we came up with. A little hunt action. Dixie made a pretty good retrieve on that. Not too much dilly-dallying. Heck yeah! The have-nots do it again. Chester seems to have developed a limp all of a sudden. The question is, is he legitimately sore and hurt something? Or is he being dramatic because Dixie stole his bird? Always a toss up with him. And I've seen him get his toy taken at home and straight up three-legged, like someone sawed off part of his leg.
ball. I got feathers. Did he go down? Didn't look like he dropped hard if he did. That was a good job, bud. He's been winning these from a ways away. Like that was a decently far shot. Let's see what I just... Chester! How cliffy is this? I didn't see him drop. I saw... Well, I think you'll be able to see the feathers. Go down and chase those anyhow. That was a good boy, dude. Good boy. Did I do my part? Not really looking like it, is it? Might have failed you. Maybe? No. I didn't see it drop. I don't see it now. He hasn't seen it. I'm guessing I just got just got feathers on that one. Dang. It's a lot shorter than I thought. No! No! Oh, that was a long shot. He did so good. Oh, they got up, up there. Oh, man. Oh.
those birds were not sticking around for us. And they didn't fly back down at me, they flew over. That's that sucks too. Let's get him some water and we'll we're going that way anyhow. Oh man. Oh, we suck. I suck. That's bull crap. They got up so far. Bud, you did so good. Good boy, bud. You would, I know I suck. I let you down. How does it feel? Because usually it's the other way around. Oh. You did good, bud. You tried to break a few times, but you you leveled her out there. All right. I've got a brand new gun, this Weatherby Element. Same gun my wife has, and I've shot hers a fair amount of times, and I'm a pretty good shot with it. I hope this one's not like bewitched or something. Because man, my shooting with this has been terrible. It took me three shots to knock down a widgeon that was just hovering right in front of my face, straight in at me the other day. And I haven't connected on an upland bird with this thing yet. Oh. And these little jerks are going to run to the top of this thing. Oh. Here we go. Evidently Chester's on point. 72 yards, I don't see him. There he is. the birds he was pointing at. Whoa, whoa! He busted those. That was a lot of birds right here. I know you were on point, but I shot a bird. Yep, that's where they came from. That's that's not where it. Bud, we gotta teach you hand signs. Come here. Dead bird. Dead bird. That's where it came from. Dead bird. Hey. I think you'll end up with it. There he goes. Good boy. Come on. 
I think that's like the world's smallest ton. Good boy. Right here. Right here. Hold him. Hold him. Drop it. Good boy. Well, the bewitching ends. I did not. You did good, bud. Keep walking. Whoa. Go easy. Easy. He doesn't point Tweety Birds. Yeah, wait, he doesn't point Tweety Birds. What? He doesn't point Tweety Birds. I wonder if there was birds sitting there when we crested the hill. Whoa. Whoa. There must be moving on him. He doesn't have a hook. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's go chase him. You want to chase him down or should we... Come on, bud. I think we should walk this flat a little bit and see if we kick any more off the ledge. I don't think those birds went far. Oh, we can go chase him. Good boy, bud. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, that's a... Holy crap, that's a stud. A chucker. A stud of a chucker. They didn't hold very very yeah. hard either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hey. Go easy. Go easy. He was. That was picture perfect. Where'd these birds go? There's no way that that was a false point. Found him. How the heck did that happen?
no way those birds ran that far. Oh, they can. I suppose it kind of was straight across, wasn't it? And those were spooky too. I don't think that he was. No, he was right here. Yeah. I almost threw that at him just because. Yeah, you can't hit him if you don't shoot. Well, Dad, aren't you coming over here? Yeah, they definitely went sailing. But here in the in the ravine again. I think next time I come out here, I'm gonna park like here, walk down this, and then take all of this stuff over here. Just side hill the whole way. Just walk the bottom of the cliff here. Yeah. Because there's a lot of good looking little hills and valleys and... and, and stuff. Yeah. And I start later in the year like this, I started catching them on the low face. Yeah, just crawl down and just... Take it straight back. All right, so that's four cubbies we've seen. And only one is... One held at all. One, yeah. And they barely gave us a shot. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you liked it, uh, definitely leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel and leave a comment. I really appreciate it, it goes a long way and I like hearing what you guys have to say about things. We will catch you next time on Struggling Outdoors. Are you tired, bud? Have you done too much?